Aloha everyone, welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the popular skincare brand, Piorito. La Piorito. Every time I hear the name, I always think of Puerto Rico. The song, well also the country, but like the song from West Side Story. I don't know, it just has that ring to it. Can you like totally tell I'm a singer? Wait, this is probably the most intense brand review video I've ever done because the amount of products that I'm reviewing is nuts. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different products that I tried for this video. Nine! But I'm also so excited to say that this video is sponsored by Piorito, the brand itself. And this is probably the most excited that I've ever been for a sponsorship because I had already been using Piorito products and I talked about them in videos before when they reached out to me and they were like, hey, we would love to sponsor you for a video. And I was like, <laughs> You're already like one of my favorite brands out there. Yes, of course I will do this. Another reason why I was so looking forward to this video was that in their initial request for a sponsorship, they specifically asked for me to be completely honest and that they wanted my honest feedback on every single product, which I really appreciate it when brands are receptive to any kind of feedback because good and bad feedback are critical for product development and brand growth. And it's just refreshing to see that when so many brands that reach out to me that are like, we only want you to talk positively about our product, which I'm like, girl, you're gonna get the honest truth. Love it, hate it, eat it, eat it, love it, hate it. You're just gonna get my honest opinion. But Pierito did send me a lot more products to be able to try, some of which I absolutely love and some of which I definitely do not love. And I wanna share my experiences with each of you. I'm first gonna tell you guys a little bit about the brand, then I'm going to talk about each of the products, my experiences with them, and then at the very end, give you my final review over whether or not I think this brand is worth the splurge. So let's get into it. They are a skincare line that is located in South Korea and is known for their more natural focus on skincare, which you guys know how I feel about like the word natural and that kind of stuff. Usually I'm not a fan of it, but they have proven to also have a really good understanding of clinical effectiveness and which kind of plant extracts are most beneficial for the skin. One thing that the brand says is that dramatic short results are exciting, but they don't last. And what the brand aims to do is just to provide skincare that can provide slower long-term results, which I am personally a huge fan of. There are very few types of products where you should see a dramatic immediate results right when you use it. Skincare is an investment and you should be expecting to see good results over a longer period of time, which I appreciate because that means that they have the health of the skin more in mind than they do trying to get exciting dramatic results that will sell their products fast. The entire brand is also vegan and cruelty-free. And they also donate a portion of their profits to, it's called the Best Friends Animal Society, which when I looked it up, it's an organization that helps to protect animals from the cruelty of the cosmetics industry that so oftentimes comes along with animal testing. All of their packaging is recyclable. And one thing I absolutely love is that all of their boxes are made from recycled material and are able to be recycled as well, which definitely gives it that more like earth conscious aesthetic, which I personally really like. But just in general, it's awesome that they're being so responsible with their packaging. And in addition, a portion of their profits also goes to the Korean Federation for Environmental Movement movement, which is a group that is aiming to push for more environmental sustainability in South Korea through different companies, as well as just among individuals in general. You guys know that I love a brand that focuses on environmental sustainability. So when I saw that they prioritize the health of animals and the health of the earth, as well as the health of skin, I was like, bitch, sign me up. In addition, the brand has a huge list of things that they don't formulate with. And for each product, it's a little bit different. But overall, I did appreciate seeing that the brand does not formulate with ethanol, oxybenzone, or synthetic fragrance, all of which are really irritating or just damaging ingredients that I do not think are necessary in skincare products. All right, let's get into the products. I'm so freaking excited. I will organize these by steps in the skincare routine. So first for cleansing is the From Green Cleansing Oils. Now, I haven't been to cleansing oils in the past, but recently I've been getting a lot into cleansing oils because they do such a good job of removing dirt and sweat buildup from throughout the day, as well as they are the best way of removing sunscreen from your skin. For formulation, the ingredients that I love in this are sunflower seed oil, sweet almond oil, and grape seed oil, all of which are really hydrating and healthy oils for the skin. I also love this because it isn't formulated with any essential oils. I think this may be one of the first cleansing oils that I have ever found that does not have essential oils. That's freaking awesome. The primary ingredient in this is olive oil, and I've talked about this in videos past. I don't like olive oil and leave on products because it can be comedogenic and doesn't really provide a good amount of moisture to the skin. But in a cleansing oil, olive is amazing because it really works to break down any of the dirt and sebum production that is accumulated throughout the day. But because you're washing it right off afterwards with a cleanser, you're not going to see any of those comedogenic properties. 
So I personally don't have a problem with olive oil and cleansing oils. As for my experience, this has become my favorite cleansing oil that I have ever used. I just love this because it does such a good job of really working away at all that dirt and sunscreen built up on your skin, but it also emulsifies really quickly when you add water, which makes it super easy to wash off. There's nothing that I hate more than a cleansing oil that is really difficult to wash off, and this one just does it so simply. I also just love that this is formulated without essential oils, like I said before. It's hard to find that. Overall, I just absolutely love this product. Next up is the Snail All-in-One BB Cleanser. I use this alongside the cleansing oil, but I also used it by itself. As for ingredients, I like snail secretion is the fifth ingredient. If you guys don't know my opinion on snail mucin or snail secretion, I absolutely love it. The results that you see in your skin are so amazing in terms of hydration and skin suppleness and plumpness, but it's also formulated with green tea extract as well as Centella Asiatica extract, both of which are good for reducing redness and irritation in the skin. As for ingredients I don't like, this is formulated with both sodium laureth sulfate and sodium laurel sulfate. Now, sulfates are not the worst thing in the world. I don't like run away when I see them, but when I see both of them together, I personally do not like that formulation. I think it can be overly stripping to the skin, and when you have options like sodium cocoa glue side or other more gentle cleansing ingredients available, I just don't think it's necessary to include them in a product. And to be honest, I was a little surprised because Piorito does such a good job of formulating with a really low amount of fragrance and incredible ingredients in their products. When I saw the ingredient list of this, I was like, I'm not in love. I don't really like it. And overall, I will say I will not be continuing to use this item, nor do I really recommend it for those reasons. In my opinion, stick with the cleansing oil. You will see much better results with that and just pair it with a good cleanser and you're good to go. All right, moving on to serums, which is definitely an area where Purito shines. The first one I want to talk about is the Advanced Snail Repair Serum. Oh my goodness, you guys so freaking good. This is formulated with 93% snail mucus filtrate, as well as glycerin, which is a hydrating ingredient, and centella asiatica, which is great for reducing irritation and sensitivity across the skin. And I have to say, I loved the feel of this. I loved using this overnight, and I noticed when I woke up that my skin was just more supple, and the irritation and sensitivity just calmed down a lot. I will say, I was at one point using this both day and night, and I think that's just a little bit too much for my skin. I think this is best used at night to assist in that reparative process that your skin naturally goes through. This is one of the best snail mucus products that I have ever found and I just love the price point as well as the results that I saw in my skin. Highly recommend. The next product is the popular Satella Green Level Buffet Serum. This one I've seen so many people use specifically because it is formulated with a high concentration of Centella. And I have to say, when I look at the ingredient list, I was just blown away by how incredible this ingredient list is. It's formulated with 49% Centella Asiatica extract, not Centella Asiatica leaf water, extract. If you don't know the difference between the two, when you see an extract, it's usually more concentrated than any other form that you will find, which means that you are getting the most possible benefits from that plant as possible. A lot of times companies will advertise that they formulate their products with Centella, but when you look at the ingredients in Centella Asiatica leaf water, which is a highly highly diluted form of that ingredient, which means you're not gonna see many results from that ingredient. This product has one of the highest, if not the highest concentrations of Centella Asiatica extract that I've ever seen before, but it's also formulated with niacinamide, which I love for reducing oiliness and dark spots across the skin, as well as jojoba esters, sodium hyaluronate, which is gonna draw in moisture into your skin, and a soothing peptide complex, woo! Intense ingredient list. I wasn't lying when I said I was so impressed. The only things that I don't like about this product is that it is formulated with a citrus essential oil as well as lavender essential oil, but they do have a form of this product that is an unscented version. I didn't realize it when I first got this product, but now looking at the website, I'm definitely gonna be purchasing that one and I highly recommend that you guys do the same because it's the exact same ingredient list except just formulated without those fragrant essential oils. The results I saw on my skin from this were so freaking good. I just loved how this soup soothed the redness in my face. It's a little bit tacky on the skin, but honestly, once you apply a moisturizer, the tackiness kind of goes away. I probably will be using this forevermore because this product just has one of those ingredient lists that I'm just like, dang, every single ingredient I absolutely love, except for the fragrant essential oils. But like I said, the unscented version, Absolutely. All right, so moving on to essence, I only have one essence. It is the Galacto Niacin 97 Power Essence. It is formulated with a 92% concentration of Galactomyces. If you aren't familiar with Galactomyces, it's an amazing ingredient for really reducing any irritation and sensitivity across the skin. There are some statements by other companies saying that it has anti-aging effects. I'm not completely sure about that, but essentially Galactomyces 
are ferments that are applied to the skin and for a long time in a lot of Eastern societies has been found to have really good results for the skin. And I personally love Galactomyces, even though some companies choose to like mark them up like crazy. I really like that it's available at such a high concentration in such an affordable product. In addition, this is also formulated with 5% niacinamide. You guys know how I feel about niacinamide and that's a pretty good concentration for just getting some of the basic benefits that you want out of it in an essence form. So overall, my experiences with this was really good. I do like how lightweight of an essence it is, but similar to the majority of essences that I use, I just don't see a lot of dramatic results within my skin. I think that's usually how galactomyces work, which is kind of why it's usually recommended that you use a galactomyces focused product for like a year in order to notice like really good results. I'm still gonna continue to use this. Like you can see, you need to use like barely any. I use barely any for my face because it just absorbs so nicely, but I'm still gonna continue to to use this and see what my overall thoughts are. So do I think this ingredient list is good? Absolutely. I think this is an awesome product from an ingredient standpoint. I'm still going to continue to use this just to see if my skin ends up loving it. And then for the final category, sunscreens. Now this is where I think Purito really shines through. This is the part of their brand that they are just like, we are here to knock down any type of competition. The first one I want to talk about is one that I have featured in many of my videos. It is the Centella Unscented SPF 50. Here's the thing when it comes to sunscreen. sunscreen Sunscreens are like the chore of the skincare routine the majority of the time. They're not fun to apply. They're really hard to formulate. It's really hard to find a good sunscreen. And overall, it's just a thing that you know you have to do, but you really just don't want to do it. My experience with this product was completely different from what I'm usually used to. This sunscreen, oh, so freaking good. If you watched my best skincare of 2019, I actually featured this product in that video just because it's such a revolutionary sunscreen that delivers such good protection without you even noticing it. I love this product because it's formulated with the more innovative and modern sunscreen technology that Korea has embraced and that the United States still needs to embrace. Hurry up US, it's taking too long. South Korea is at the forefront of skincare technology and they have found some amazing ingredients that work so well for protecting the skin from any damage while reducing any potential sensitivity while still simultaneously being a chemical sunscreen, which I definitely appreciate because the type of chemical sunscreens that we have here in the US are just, they're so old fashioned, they're not necessary. I don't know why we still use them. They're harmful to the skin, they could be harmful to the environment. I'm just like, meh, just let's let them go. The experience of putting it on is very, very similar to like an extremely lightweight moisturizer. It doesn't feel like a sunscreen when you're putting it into your skin because there's no white cast and it soaks in so quickly while providing a lightweight level of hydration. The protection was so good while I use it. Honestly, no complaints about this product, except for the fact that sometimes during the summertime, it can be just a little bit too heavy on my skin, which is why I will only use this like specific times of the year. I also love it because they have a scented version, but they have this scented version and honestly I think brands just need to do more of that in general like instead of having to move your entire brand over to completely fragrance free why don't you just make fragrance free options of each of your products that way you can be the most inclusive in terms of brand selection because there's so many products out there that I want to try but I won't try because they formulate with so much fragrance and I love that Purito provides these options for its consumers. And then for the last product of the video, which is probably my most unexpected love, it is the Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50. Now, similar to the Centella one, this is a sunscreen with the same level of protection, but this is formulated with 70% water. Now, when I first saw that, I was like, what? Why would they advertise with that? This sunscreen is so lightweight. I'm talking like crazy lightweight. It absorbs into the skin so freaking easily. And one of the reasons I'm so blown away by this formula is that it is 100% a mineral-based sunscreen. So the primary ingredient that they use is zinc oxide in this for protection. Zinc oxide is an incredible ingredient for protecting your face throughout the day from sun damage. And while I love it, zinc oxide is always so frustrating because it provides kind of like this thick layer of whiteness across your skin. But let me just show you guys how good this is. So like I'll apply a little bit on the back of my hand, rub it into the skin. It instantly disappears. Like it's crazy. You can't see any white cast whatsoever. It's just, I've never seen a physical sunscreen like it. They just 
completely blew every other mineral sunscreen out of the water. And I'm sad I didn't discover this product before because I absolutely love it. Purito makes a point to say that this is a non-nano zinc oxide, which is great. I've seen a lot of times that Korean sunscreens will formulate with nano zinc oxide, which can be really harmful to the health of coral as well as potentially harmful to ourselves. We don't really know yet and I get a little nervous about that. And also it just doesn't provide the breast protection possible. So the fact that they use non-nano zinc oxide is amazing. And this is also formulated with glycerin and niacinamide, both of which are great ingredients that I love. The only thing that I will complain about for this product is that it is formulated with orange peel oil and lavender oil, both of which I do not like those essential oils, but I will say I barely smelled them. Usually a good way of telling how high the concentration is is by smelling the product. And honestly, like I don't smell. I, I was really surprised to find that on the ingredient list because I just can't smell the orange peel oil or the lavender oil. But moving forward in the future, I would love if Purito did what they did with the Centella sunscreen and released an unscented version, just to make sure that we're not risking our skin with any possible essential oils. If they did that, girl, I found the best mineral sunscreen of my life. This is so good and I'm so glad I found this product. I highly, highly recommend it. So with all those products out of the way, what are my thoughts on the brand overall? I wanna talk about my positives and my negatives. The positives being, first of all, I love the price point of this brand. You get high quality products for a very low price point. I love that they formulate with clinically effective ingredients and really beneficial plant extracts. I love that this brand has fragrance free options. And while not all of their products are free of fragrance, I love that the majority of them are and that they offer an option to some people who like fragrance and to other people who don't like fragrance. I just think it is so great and I think more brands need to do that. And in addition, I love the brand's philosophy when it comes to skincare and their focus on sustainability and ethics surrounding the cosmetic industry. The recyclable packaging, the recycled boxes, the donations to nonprofits, the cruelty-free and vegan status. I just think all of those things are great and definitely what you want to see in a brand. As for my negatives, the only thing I can think of is that some of their products have fragrance in them. But like I said before, any brand that provides fragrance-free options, I will do my best to support those products, try them out. And sure enough, as you guys have seen, after trying out these products, I have found some ones that I absolutely love and have been added to my best skincare of all time list. What do you guys think of this brand? Let me know in the comment section down below. I want to hear your thoughts or recommendations. I am definitely going to be purchasing more products from Purito because I want to try like literally every single product they have. And I wanna hear you guys' recommendations. Thank you so much to Purito for sponsoring this video and being so open-minded and willing to work with me. They've just really shown a level of ethics that is hard to find and I definitely appreciate that. And of course I appreciate it as always, you guys always being so supportive of me and my sponsorships. I love you guys' attitude and support when it comes to these things because it definitely helps me in being able to keep doing YouTube full-time and creating the amount of content that I do for you guys. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.